program, it's very, very important. So, white flour and white sugar are not good for the pineal gland. They're not good for the, for the body. So if we can reduce those and substitute them slowly, gradually, with brown sugar, brown pasta, and these things, even brown bread, slowly, slowly, we can improve our overall state of well-being, right? <coughs> Actually, contain white flour as well. White bread. Brown bread. Brown. Is it a mix of it? I think some might. Nice. Some might, I think yes. But I think it would be a lot better than white. Yes. But still, ideally, you wouldn't have bread. Mm. Neither brown. It's still wheat. Still it's still wheat. wheat. It's mm -hmm. gluten. It's sticky in the stomach. We've got yeast. So that makes. Uh, it opens up your, your it, is, you want, it, it, create, it makes you crave for sweets then, mm -hmm. and for sugars. Mm -hmm. you really, yeah. There we go, there we go. That's area. Like I go to these Turkish places a lot and I get a salad, and then I put a sauce and some hummus on top, and it comes really nice and tasty, okay. you know? Mm -hmm. And it's really cheap as well. It's really good. For the ten, the, the one they make at the cafe last time, Mark made a nice wrap for me with spelt and rye. Did you manage to wrap it? Yes, it was, it was like a, it was like clothes. Oh. It wasn't a rolled wrap, it was just like out of clothes. I don't know what there is, you can, you can find even pasta for it. For instance, I, uh. it's another problem for my platter. I'm not, su I'm not supposed to have a lot of meat. Uh. But, but even today, no the pasta, is. mine, all positive. No, I said no one is meant to have a lot of wheat. Uh, even fact. the A's as well. Probably you're more sensitive as a blood type, but I'm wheat more positive in general. Too. I never heard about that. Is it? Yes, uh -huh. things which I like to eat. So. Um, but we can, you can find, uh, for instance, pasta, we go to health food shops, ah. pasta made of millet, those yeah. are substitutes of, of the wheat. And it's like it's normal pasta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So today there is a selection, so it's not restricted, you, you find mm -hmm. even milk, and some supposed to have goat's milk, ah. not the cow's milk. Ah. I, I think I'm almond milk. Yeah, that's very or delicious. Rice milk. Rice milk, yes, and milk and soya as well. I have to control because of the, because of the thyroid. Mine's a bit slow, uh -huh. so soya really makes it slow. Um, makes the thyroid slow, uh -huh. so uh -huh. I have to control. Soya is not very good, no, for digestion. A lot of the soya is genetically modified, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's mono farm than mono crop. It exactly, the because energy of soya isn't too great. It's better than milk, I would say, mm -hmm. but. Um, and then, as many said, if you have to have oat or almond milk or something like this. Almond milk is really delicious. Yeah, Where do you get that from? I can make it. Oh, it. Food shop, or you can make it really easy. If you just get some uh, oats and you leave them soaking, because oats are really cheap. Uh -huh. You leave them soaking, uh, 12 hours, then you blend them, and you put them in one of these bags of talira, yeah. with a borma underneath, and it just drips, and you've got delicious oat milk in. Five minutes, and for one euro, you can make ten liters of oat milk, probably, mm -hmm. as opposed to buying two euro things, you know, from yeah. the hand food shop. I never bought uh, oats and oats or, or, yeah. or even from another supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. A oats euro a kilo. Any oats are good, right? Yeah. Yeah. I boil them. We boil the oats. You don't have to. Yeah, you can. Can. Can I can. Can um, uh, I warm up the milk, then I boil them uh, uh, for the oats, and just mix it. Type it on porridge. Goodness. It's called porridge, and then maybe some honey. The one, the one I bought, I bought last time. It's very expensive, but it's the best honey you can get. The manuka. Ah, right. It's seventeen euros, eh, John? But I bought it because when I was doing the detox, it was literally I have to I have to have it because that's organic. It's the best bees. They come. It's come. It comes from New Zealand, where they you know keep the bees in a sort. And it's true, it's very good. And yeah. you just need a spread, eh? you really because it really served me. Because it's manuka expensive. honey, manuka is this tree that is found, you know, tea tree? <laughs> it's from Australia, ah. the tea trees. Tea tree has a lot of healing properties, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of healing properties. 
So this honey, Manuka honey, which is very popular now, the bees go on the tea tree and they take the, the pollen from the tea tree. So then the honey that they make has all the healing properties of tea tree, which is a super, super healing tree. So therefore taking Manuka honey can be more effective than taking antibiotics sometimes. It's that healing. Also bee propolis, take propolis. And then there are superfoods like bee pollen, very tasty. Cheap. Cheap, a lot of protein. Pollen? Bee pollen. It's the second most nourishing food in the world after spirulina. And spirulina, great. What's it Spirulina, the seaweed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have seaweed. I can't. Yeah. It's seaweed. It's seaweed. It's not. It's not nice. Even while you, especially when it's boiling, it's nasty. <laughs> really, yeah. I I had a client in Nashai, yeah. and uh, she she she's into these things as well, and she does she does it herself. She boils, and then I mean she 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 says to other clients to go to her. And she really uh, gets actually to eat her body. It lasts for about twenty days, because you just need to take a half a glass in the morning. I took it also for because of the thyroid, and uh, um, otherwise you can go to you can buy it and. But it takes a lot, and it, it wastes a lot. As a, I mean, of any, especially if you have electricity in the kitchen, because it's one hour you to dry get, it and an hour to boil. And you an can get. To I, I recommend that mm -hmm. once every two weeks you go to a health food shop, like Udert and Casa Natura and these places, and you say, "What I spend on food is probably the most important money I'm going to spend in these two weeks." You know, so you go to this health food shop. And you get whatever you feel like, within within reason, you know. But you spend 50, 60 euros, and don't worry because this food isn't going to go bad. And it lasts. Uh, it lasts, you know. Lasts. If you bought seaweed, you're not going to throw it away. You're going to leave it there, and you need, and you'll have fresh, good ingredients in your kitchen. So when you'll be like, what am I going to eat? They clay got mung beans. Mung beans. Mung beans. Mung beans. Good. And you can yeah. sprout them. Yeah. Okay. When you sprout something like a mung bean, the it's nourishment okay. goes 500 percent. It's becoming a plant and then from a bean. So the vitamins, minerals, and beneficial enzymes that you have, or that Nikki has at camping, will become 500 percent when you sprout them. And you can type it on Google. It's very easy. You need a darkness of blue for all the. And then, uh, and and so it's like not the Christmas. Like June June, 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 June. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can buy kits as well. Sprout kits. Sprout uh -huh. kits, yeah. I'd like to try, I've never tried. Even that, that buckwheat. Really they've, they've been growing at the cafe. Buckwheat? They were growing at the cafe. And it does actually keep away diseases. Definitely. If you really eat, I, I mean, we're talking diseases really. Yeah, mental, physical, and emotional. Can cure cancer with even yeah. cure yeah. In ten days, my stress level is much lower when I take three, four smoothies a day. And then when I lack, I feel stress. I feel I get angrier the quicker sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it makes sense, but one hundred percent. When I analyze if this week I ate properly or not. I say no wonder I'm a bit stressed because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I miss this, this and that. And then on good days when I'm off, for example, and I have time to dedicate to the kitchen, that bomba, full power, happy, colorful. Mm -hmm. yeah, it makes a lot of difference. Why it's, uh, it's because we are not separate. We are not separate. Our mind and our body is one and the same thing. So if our body is feeling good with the food we're putting into our body in the right way, and then our mind, like Ed said, is going to be clear, calm. No concentration. It's, it's going to be good. Emotional as well. Totally. Again, we are, we are physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. So if we put it right in the middle here, it's very important, huh? The whole, <laughs> the whole thing, like. Yeah. And you can try it, you know, just. Eat healthy, feel good, it's very simple. Nowadays we're very lucky with the internet. Before if I wanted to know something about mixing carrots and apples and how they digest the juice as opposed to eating them whole. 
It'll be very hard to find someone who knows. But now I can go on Google and I say, carrots and apples as a juice, how do they digest? And it will literally tell me, you know? So we should make use of this resource. It's really, it's like we've got this big brain. And we can just go into this brain, you know? And you get a lot of like uh, juice recipes as well on YouTube. For sure. Yeah. Well, not so much. Juices and smoothies. We're big fans. Mm. And it's the best way to get like all this super good nourishment in. Because disease comes because we don't get the right nourishment in. We'd have had a pasta with an ice cream and some cheese and some gluten. But where are the vitamins and minerals, you know? Not in the pasta. For sure you get some carbs, and some starch, but no, no chi, no prana. So to get all this fresh stuff in, I'm not going to get a cabbage and eat it like an apple, you know? But if I got some spinach, put it in a blender, added some strawberries, some honey, <laughs> you know? And maybe some raw cacao. And then I'm going to be like, mmm, the spinach and everything else is so good, you know? So by making smoothies and experimenting with them, you can get fresh leafy greens, you can get raw vegetables, avocados, avocados mm. nuts, and everything you want in a tasty drink. And again, just go on Google, type David Wolf, smoothie recipes if you like.